Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, clearly one of the best horses in Jamaica, the US bred five-year-old mare Desert of Malibu rallies from a dreadful start to win the St. Catherine Cup with authority. A flashback to the latest Barbados meet where last year's beaten Guinness favorite Indelible snaps an eight-month winless run in the Mums Pride Trophy gate to wire. Two stores as well from the USA, a Tampa Bay down stakes win for Florida's number one trainer, Safi Joseph Jr. of Barbados, and a stylish win for Jamaican jockey Anthony Thomas over two of the continent's top jockeys at Gulfstream Park. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent, or opening store from Jamaica. Saturday's main event at Caymanus Park, the St. Catherine Cup six furlong sprint, with seven starters all eyes on the impressive six horse, Desert of Malibu who had passed the winning post in front in all five of her previous starts since arriving from Florida. The betting suggesting a two-horse race here, Desert of Malibu, a heavy one-to-nine favorite, and number four, Emperor of the Cats, undefeated in his last three starts, the second favorite at five to two, next best supported number seven, Freedom Street, at 13 to one. Here's Bran Rickman's race call. They're off for the St. Catherine Cup. Desert of Malibu has an awful beginning and has catching up to do as Madeline Sunshine and Emperor of the Cats go for it up front. Press conference is three lengths back and racing in third. Freedom Street races back in fourth as they go flashing past the five. Luxol on the outside of Sister and Treasure and Desert of Malibu playing catch up at the back as the field arrive at the half mile and run into that home turn. Madeline Sunshine shining brightly at the moment leads up by some two lengths. Emperor of the Cats in hot pursuit. Press conference needs to find six to get to them. Freedom Street races next as they slip past the three. Luxol shaken up now, bubbling to the boil. Sister and Treasure is next, and Desert of Malibu with a mountain to climb from there as the field come thundering into the top of the lane. It's Madeline Sunshine out in front. Emperor of the Cats in the red cap now throwing down the challenge, but Madeline Sunshine is fighting to hold the lead on the rider now, doing everything to keep Madeline Sunshine going. They arrive at the furlong pole. Here is a Desert of Malibu coming from nowhere and flashing over the outside. They inside the Final 16th and Desert of Malibu now grabs a hold of Madeline Sunshine. Madeline Sunshine under a cloud. Desert of Malibu beats Madeline Sunshine, then Emperor of the Cats. What a run by Desert of Malibu. Very tardy out of the starting gates and was still lost coming off the final bend. But ex-champion jockey Dane Dawkins in the light blue silks rallies the five-year-old mare to a win with authority. Comfort even in the end, reeling in the front-running Madeline Sunshine near the finish. Desert of Malibu for owner Houston Stables and trainer Gary Sabrati, shipped from Florida after one race at Tampa Bay Downs, would have been 6-0 now if not for her disqualification from first place in last month's Bruce on the Loose Sprint Trophy on Mute Mile Day. Desert of Malibu as a 1-9 favorite wins the St. Catherine Cup by a length over Madeline Sunshine, the 5-2 second favorite Emperor of the Cats is third, having his three-race winning streak snapped. The clock stopped at 1 minute 12 and 3 fifths. Only 2021 winner Father Patrick's time of 1 12 flat has been faster since the event was switched from 5.5 furlongs to 6 furlongs. Let's flash back to the last Barbados race meet to the season opening BTC Board of Directors 7 race card and the secondary feature Mum's Pride Trophy. A competitive six-horse field for the 7.8 furlong trip on the Garrison Savannah turf. The two-horse mirror in the sky the favourite as the mayor was a seven-time winner in 2023. But check out the filly Indelible's front-running show under Ray Williams, watched in the com box by Dean Springer. Opening quarter was 25 and 3. And their journey down the back stretch. And Indelible cantering along in front. That's your leader from Mikal on the outside, supermodel. Down the inside is to the rose. Mirror of the sky improves and lovely is your trailer. As they're around the far turn, the half completed in 51 and 2. They get to the top of the hill and begin their run downhill towards the drill hall. And it's indelible. Being pressed now on the outside by Mikal. Supermodel runs into the race in third. Mirror of the Sky has found her best race. And, right? And she's coming calling on the inside. Tudor Rose falls away. And Lovely continues to troll inside the quarter pole. They come. And indelible on the inside is hanging tough. On the outside of her is Mikal. And there are no more turns. And indelible is in command. She finds another gear and starts to dash on. On the inside, Tudor Rose looking for a way through. It's indelible. Tudor Rose, Mikal, Tudor Rose tightened up and not going to get there. Mikal with one last search, not going to get there either. A brilliant gate to wire win by indelible. Perfectly rated by the 25 year old Derby winning jockey Ray Williams. 
Indelba raced unbeaten in four starts last year as a three-year-old until her defeat as favourite in June's Barbados Guineas, won by Let It Be Me. The filly was second in the midsummer, didn't race in the derby, and now snaps a three-race winless run for trainer Richard Dean, who landed both feature races on the day, also scoring, of course, with Sir Jimmy in the President's Trophy. Sir David Seals, indelible by three quarters of a length, lands the Mum's Pride Trophy at three to one odds ahead of Supermodel and Lovely, 139.20, the winning time for 7.8 furlongs. Now to Florida, where the Gulf Stream Park champion trainer Safi Joseph Jr. shifted his success across to Tampa Bay Downs on Saturday. The Barbadian with a top entry in the Gasparilla Stakes. His four-year-old filly, Mystic Lake, coming off a third-place finish in the Mazarin Stakes at Canada's Woodbine in early November, was the favourite and took control early in the seven furlong run. Here's Gulfstream Park champion jockey Edgar Zayas setting the pace with her. Just over a half mile left to go, 22 and 4 for that opening quarter mile, Mystic Lake. And Edgar Zayas taking past the half mile pole, a length and a half in front of a lineup of three. Corinth down toward the inside, delightful summer runaway diva between horses. Now Gervin's Princess starts to lift, has gone by Gorgeous Girl, who's dropped back a couple of spots. And at the back is Genuine Peril. They've all got to catch Mystic Lake. Mystic Lake midway around the far turn in front by almost two now. Corinth running bravely in that second position. Then comes Gervin's Princess. Gorgeous Girl now starting to get back into the bit, out three or four deep, trying to gain on. On this leader who's Mystic Lake. Mystic Lake arrives at the top of the stretch. The lead stretched out to three now. Gorgeous Girl up on the outside of Corinth. They're second and third. In behind them, Gervin's Princess. Nothing really materializing from the back. It's Mystic Lake at the furlong grounds. Mystic Lake a length and three quarters in front. Corinth running a big one toward the inside. Then comes Gorgeous Girl. Mystic Lake still there with 100 yards left to go. Gorgeous Girl on the outside trying to rally up into second. Mystic Lake going to hold on though. Mystic Lake to win the Gasparilla. Confident ride by Zas as Mystic Lake opens her 2024 campaign with a victory, her second in five lifetime starts. Scoring here as the 4-5 to five favorite by three quarters of a length in the Gasparilla, clocking 124, 6 to 9 for seven furlongs. This success for Safi adding to five wins in the past week at Gulfstream Park, including a Saturday double. This Safi's first stakes win for 2024, and you can begin the countdown now toward 100 stakes wins since he began his USA sojourn in 2011. He's now at 86. Gotta show you this one before we go. Three-time Jamaica champion jockey Anthony Thomas narrowly defeating top flight jockeys at Gulfstream Park in one of the best wins he has had since moving his tack last summer from Caymanus Park to Florida. In last Wednesday's ninth race at Gulfstream Park, Thomas is in the yellow silks here aboard the 5-1 to one bet Love Paradox in second, going in chase of champion jockey Edgar Zass aboard the leader Chloe's Toy. While threatening and about to move into third is the continent's current number one rider, four-time Eclipse Award winner Irad Ortiz Jr. aboard the six horse, the favorite Splurge, watched in the com box by Peter Yellow. They run to the top of the stretch with Chloe's toy still the target. Love Paradox goes after the leader in second. Splurge, three wide and chiming into it from third. Underway from last is Talking Wonders. Off the turn on the stretch drive, the leader is Chloe's toy. Trying to close the gap is Love Paradox. Splurge on the outside. Talking Wonders is next. They come past the eighth pole. Love Paradox, Splurge, they're both kicking from between Love Paradox and Anthony Thomas up to the task. Love Paradox wins. Perfect balance and poise. Anthony Thomas, champion jockey three times at Jamaica's Caymanus Park, gets his eighth win since moving to Florida, scoring by a half a length with a 5-1 to one bet Love Paradox, edging top Puerto Rico-born jocks Zayas and Ortiz in the finish. Owned and trained by Mute Mile winning Jamaican trainer Rowan Crichton, Love Paradox knocks 103.54 in the 5.5 furlong sprint. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 12 of them. Among them, the Barbadian jockeys Rashawn Latchman and Kimar Trotman from Charlestown in West Virginia. And victories to at New York's Aqueduct racetrack for the Jamaican trainer Charlton Baker and the Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.